Hey guys, I'm Billy. Welcome to the next episode of my Indie Game Devlog. This episode's a little late. We had Labor Day weekend this past weekend, and WoW Classic dropped, and that kind of took a hit on my productivity. But that's not to say I didn't do anything last week. We're going to go over some modular environment art creation. So here we go. Okay, so this is what we've had in-game pretty much every episode so far. Now the key to making this modular level design process quick is when you're building your initial placeholder gray box level, you use prefabs. So as you can see here, this is a human ship wall T corner. There's one, one here, one here, a couple here, here. So the point of using these prefabs is once I update one, it updates every single one that I have used throughout my entire project, not just this one level or not just this one piece. So it saves me a bunch of time in the end. So I've gone through and modeled and textured some placeholder wall pieces and floor pieces earlier on. So let's start off with this wall T corner. Right click, open prefab asset. So you open up this prefab and you see it's just three cubes with box colliders on them and they're tagged environment object unbreakable. So I have this so when bullets hit it, the bullet destroys itself. And each of these cubes is set to navigation static. So that way when I, I'll back out here, when I go to bake my, my nav mesh, it actually incorporates them into the calculations. So back to this wall T corner, open prefab asset. So in 3ds Max, I built this wall T intersection that matches up perfectly with the cubes in here. And so then I'll go into the cubes, and since I don't want to rebuild my box colliders or anything, I'm just going to turn off this mesh renderer, and boom, the wall T intersection is in place. As I said before, it's just placeholder now, but matches up perfectly with the box collider so nothing about my level design is going to have to change once i incorporate this and then um, these automatically save so i back out and boom all the t intersections are in place now open the prefab asset for a corner piece bring in my my corner model that i've already made turn off the mesh renders so that way the box colliders are still there and then boom you got your corner here back out all the corners have been updated so now we're going to do the wall, zoom in, open up the prefab, turn off the mesh render for the cube, bring in my actual wall piece. Now as you can see, box collider matches up perfectly, back out. Last piece I have is this cross. Open up prefab asset, bring in my wall piece, turn off these mesh renders. There we go, matches up perfectly with the box colliders, back out. And now every wall in the level is a, a finished, modeled and textured piece of environment art. And that's what we were going for. Now I'm going to do the floor, the last piece here, open up the prefab, bring in my actual floor model, make sure it matches up with this. Turn off the mesh render for the cube, make sure that box collider is still on, and then I have these on layer floor for the mouse picking. Um, back out, and then all of the floors should be updated. So that's pretty much the process I used. Um, as you can see, it was super simple to go from my, my boxes that I already kind of planned out my level with to a somewhat finished looking asset. I'm definitely gonna change the designs of them, as I said, but right now they're looking a lot better than just the flat unity materials and boxes so i'm going to just play the game real quick uh kind of show off how it looks right now like i said not final gonna change them but uh let me know what you think here we go it's one thing i for sure don't like is how very square these floor tiles are i think we're definitely going to need some sort of like angled corner pieces and some smaller details rather than just this big square because just looks like a tiled grid which is exactly what it is but it's not kind of what I what I'm going for here the walls actually don't look too bad but I want some more dimension to them they're very flat so maybe I'll angle the base of the walls more not really sure what I'm gonna do yet but I definitely want to add some emissive materials some lights up top and then kind of some floor grates and then definitely some smaller environment details like wires chairs tables pretty much just more things that sell that sci-fi feeling there's not enough variation, so I'm definitely going to change it up. Um, let me know what you think I can do in the comments below. So there's my quick and easy method on going from gray boxing to a more finished looking um, level using uh, modular environment art pieces. Let me know if you learned something. If not, let me know as well. Also, leave a like below the video. It really helps me out. 
and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the videos. Uh, if there's anything I can change, anything I can do to make them better, maybe be more focused in certain areas. Um, yeah, just let me know. Other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.